Hello friends, welcome to Live Traveling. Today we'll see San Jose, California complete travel guide things to do San Jose, California whether you've come for business or not. You'll find a lot to do in your spare time. San Jose hosts a bunch of attractions that don't take too long to enjoy. Burn an hour or two downtown at the San Jose Museum of Art and the Children's Discovery Museum. And if you and your kids are itching for hands, on way to learn about Silicon Valley's computer industry, check out the Tech Museum of Innovation. For a whole day of family fun, head to California's Great America Amusement Park in nearby Santa Clara to blow off some steam or eat a good meal. Make your way to Santana Row. Santana Row, where do Silicon Valley tycoons go to spend their money? To Santana Row, a chick shopping development just a short drive west of downtown San Jose. Here you'll find delectable eateries, a movie theater and designer shops like Gucci and Kate Spade, and the apartments in the Hotel Valencia built above the ground. Floor businesses create an urban vibe that particularly takes off at night when Santana Row becomes a nightlife hub. Many recent travelers claim that this is the best people watching spot in the city. Also, keep your eyes on the parking lot. Exotic sports cars like Lamborghinis and Ferraris are often spotted here. Cathedral Basilica of St. Joseph Architecture Buffs will want to set aside some time to see the Cathedral Basilica of St. Joseph, a large Roman Catholic church located in downtown San Jose. This structure is actually the fifth reincarnation and sits on the site of former basilicas that were damaged by earthquakes or fire in the 19th century. It draws in visitors with its architectural beauty, both inside and out. Reviewers were particularly enchanted by its domes and stained glass windows, of which there are 39 colorful panes to behold. Aside from its impressive structural elements, the cathedral wins praise for its peaceful atmosphere. Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum. The Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum hosts the largest collection of ancient Egyptian finds on the West Coast, boasting more than 4,000 artifacts. Along with a tomb replica, the museum's many sarcophagi and mummies thrill most visitors. And many appreciate the detailed descriptions and timelines adjacent to the displays. A few recent travelers expressed mild disappointment, however, saying the museum may not appeal to those with a surface interest in ancient Egypt. Still, this off-the-beaten-path attraction, many locals said they didn't even know it existed, offers a unique and educational, not to mention affordable, alternative to some of the area's other top to do, some of the area's other top to do. What's more, you'll also find a planetarium on site that screens three different space film. The Tech Interactive, the Tech Interactive is right at home in San Jose, the capital of Silicon Valley. This blue domed facility in downtown brings in school children by the busload. Literally, this place thrives off the curiosity of young people and offers plenty of hands on learning opportunities that serve to educate museum goers about scientific concepts such as space exploration, biotechnology, clean energy, genetics, and the science of sound. Children's Discovery Museum, like the nearby Tech Museum, the Children's Discovery Museum offers hands on experiences for kids as well as some interesting displays for adults. Recent travelers seem to have several favorite exhibits, but the waterways, a large network of water-filled tubes through which colorful balls travel, stands out above the rest. Parents like the sections of the museum that are designed for specific ages like the Wonder Cabinet, which caters to children age four and younger and encourages exploration in a safe and stimulating setting like an art studio. And although there is a food court, San Jose Museum of Art, the San Jose Art Museum brings a bit of high culture to the downtown area. Its collection focuses on 20th and 21st century works in a variety of media, painting, video installation, photography, and more. The temporary exhibits frequently feature a local Northern California artist, which gives some personality to the space. Although some reviewers remark on the museum's small size and limited collection, they do say it's worth a visit thanks to its interesting exhibits and reasonable admission prices. What's more, most appreciated that the museum can be viewed in a matter of hours thanks to its manageable size. Japanese Friendship Garden visitors frequently describe this small garden as tranquil and a nice place to let the kids run around. Built in 
1965 as a symbol of everlasting friendship between the city of San Jose and its sister city, Okayama, Japan. The garden features Japanese bridges, waterfalls, and koi fish, a favorite attraction among youngsters. California's Great America, it's no Disneyland, but this theme park in the Santa Clara neighborhood, about a 15-minute drive from downtown San Jose, will surely satisfy your family's craving for thrilling rides, water park fun, and live entertainment, while the high-flying coasters like Flight Deck steal most of the attention. And the wait times, the theme park offers a wide variety of carnivalesque booths, along with a few entertaining performances. You'll find many of the families with younger children enjoying the smaller thrills of Planet Snoopy. And to make this into a great summer attraction, Great America also offers the Boomerang Bay Water Park and its fun slides, cabana, and wave pool. Winchester Mystery House across the street from Hip Santana Row. The Winchester Mystery House is both a piece of San Jose history and, according to some, a tourist trap. The incredibly superstitious Sarah Winchester heiress to the firearm fortune. Built this monstrous structure in the late 19th and early 20th century, the estate boasts 161 rooms and a bevy of mind boggling designs such as a staircase to nowhere, secret passageways, a seance room, and the hall of fires which is equipped with four fireplaces and three hot air registers. While some visitors appreciate the architectural oddities, others quickly grow bored of the furniture, less rooms. Still, you might consider a visit. The house is one of San Jose's oldest homes, and some people won't believe you've truly seen the city if you don't make a quick stop here. What's more, it's a California historical landmark. Reviewers who visited tweens and teens said it proved an entertaining activity for the whole family. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe.